All right, welcome back. So I gotta do another part on the deep dive session. This time I'm gonna use the Google API. So I gotta do it from scratch with you on screen. So there's no, no hacks or nothing. I just follow exact tutorial example so they can see how it actually works almost like immediately in five minutes. Let's get started. So what I'm gonna show you next will be the Detect Landmarks applications, the example from the Cloud Vision API. I find this quite fascinating. Um, if many of you have used Google Map, you see there's a lot of photo there. So right now I'm on the Mac, and the first step for getting the landmark detection to work with this API, we're really setting up the credentials. You need to create a project, getting the key, and setting up the credentials for your machine to talk to the server. So follow all the steps here, I've done it already, but the key is at the end when you get the JSON key file, make sure you do this correctly. Uh, and so Google knows where to find your key. So I'm gonna do it right now. Um, I already have the things put together. So step one is setting up the credential and I'll be using this key, which I've downloaded from Google. Now we're done, step one is done. Now step two is once you have set this up, you may want to install the computer vision library because that's what it needs to run the detection algorithm. So again, just to recap what we're doing, we're trying to figure out from an image, like if we're looking at, let's say, like a pyramid, Apple Tower, first famous landmark. And we gotta wanna extract it basically, well, the name of it or maybe location of it. So here, um, we can do the pip install to install the library. But before that, I usually heavily recommend people do something exactly what I'm doing. Do a quick virtual environment and use the virtual environment, activate it before you install. So that way, you're not gonna mess up your system files, I mean, your, your setup files and all that. And now it's doing all the work and we're ready. Basically, now we have this step done. Next step is, um, let's run a demo. And here's an example that I'm gonna show you today. So what this is doing now is we're gonna use the Google Cloud Vision Library and we're gonna figure out from the image what landmark we're looking at. So the API is quite straightforward, um, it will be calling the image annotator client. And from there, we read the image file, read the content out, then we call the client. Just like how we explained in the Azure example just now, very similar, you want to know, basically you have to point to the server and say, hey, I want to know what this is the image about. And this time we're going to provide the image um, and then we're going to upload the image to the server and we're going to get back a set of responses. These response basically is just a ender JSON file you download back from the server to describe what you're looking at. In this case, we're interested in three informations. One is the name of the landmark. So in this case, the, the description of the landmark. And then, well, let's say, where is it? So we gotta get the latitude and longitude from it. So let's run it, see how it looks like. Now let's see what happens. So what this is doing now is, it's now uploading an image to the server. We download it back and we have the results. You may find it's like, okay, what is this tower, right? Let's look at this quickly. So this is the Eiffel Tower. Well, that's how we do landmark detection today with a simple API call. And this example can be found here. But I think the reason why I wanna to talk to you about this is, this is like how you can basically building very powerful applications to solve really hard problems. And if you're really interested in developing something from scratch, that's where we point you to here, our Jupyter Notebooks from OpenVINO. That's where you download basically the model from scratch. You can do all the detection and build your own system. Depending on which stage of your venture work, you can always build something from scratch using API or you know, collaborating with your partners, maybe do something collaboratively. Wherever it takes, right? That's like what Hacker's Mindset is all about. Again, my name is Raymond. Hopefully you enjoy our show and then we're gonna keep doing this and we're gonna listen to your new responses. For example, you have new idea what to do with this. We're gonna go and try those out. Again, thank you very much. Have a great day.